In this video, I will guide you through a problem in Smith's Organic Chemistry. I'm Stoddard, founder of Study Chem, the place for students to turn for higher grades in OCHEM. Let's get started. Here we're asked to draw the organic products formed in each reaction and then indicate the stereochemistry of the products that contain uh, stereogenic centers. So uh, you have to be really careful to look at the starting alcohol. Uh, take a look if, and if there is a stereogenic carbon at the actual carbon that contains the hydroxyl group and then also classify the alcohol as primary, secondary, or tertiary and then you want to look at the reagents and see uh, what's going to happen. Is it SN1 or SN2 or what's going on, okay? So let's take a look. Here's the hydroxyl group. This is bonded to this carbon, making this a primary carbon or primary alcohol, okay? Primary alcohols react by SN2. Here it's achiral. There's no stereogenic center at this carbon, okay? There's no stereogenic center here. So um, we simply just replace the hydroxyl group for a, a halogen. In this case, it's chlorine. Okay, We don't need to draw wedges or dashes because this is not a stereogenic center. Okay, So that's pretty easy to do there. In this second problem, we've identified the alcohol. Here's a hydroxyl group. It's bonded to this carbon. This carbon has three bonds to it or three carbons attached to it. So this here is a tertiary alcohol. Furthermore, this carbon that I've highlighted is a stereogenic center. So there are some additional things to think about. Tertiary alcohols react with HI through SN1, and SN1 gives you inversion and retention. Another way of saying that is that the carbocation is a planar intermediate and the incoming iodide could attack the carbocation from the top face or the bottom face giving you both the wedge and dash you know, isomers. So let's go ahead and draw the uh, products here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw out the uh, carbon chain there from left to right and I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the iodine in place of the hydroxyl group going back and I will also add um, an iodine here but I'm going to make it going on a wedge okay so this is a wedge with iodine and the methyl group will be on a dash okay so these are uh, racemic it's a mi mixture and you really can't do anything about that that's just going to form okay Let's take a look at this third example here. Here we have the hydroxyl group. It's bonded to this carbon. This carbon has two carbons attached to it, so it's a secondary alcohol. It's furthermore a stereogenic center. Okay, This is the stereogenic center. And in the reaction of PBr3, it reacts with alcohols by SN2. Okay, Now, just by itself, secondary alcohols can react by SN1 or SN2, but remember that PBr3 only reacts by SN2. And that's just a detail you have to be familiar with. So when we perform this reaction, SN2 gives you inversion, we want to change the wedge to a dash. All right, so let's draw the organic molecule. The bromine, let me highlight that dot right there. The bromine is going to attack from the back side of this molecule or from the dash. Okay, we don't have to add hydrogens here, that's just extra busy work. Now, what about this methyl group here that's uh, located near the top? There's no inversion here because um, there are no bonds being formed or broken to this carbon. That's a stereogenic center over here too. So this methyl group remains as a wedge because it's remote from the reaction center and it, it's just there in, the, in another part of the molecule. Okay, So this is unchanged.
All right. So uh, thank you for watching.